Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my... Lord, what month is it? September. I don't... I don't even know when my last favourites video was. So maybe this could be August favourites, September favourites, current favourites. I'm not sure what I want to label it. If you guys want to see what I've been loving lately for the past few months, then keep watching. Okay, so let's get started. So what do you guys think about my new hairstyle I'm trying out today? I never wear my hair like this. Low pony, slip back, center part. Things in my makeup bag, my gym makeup bag. Oh my gosh, this affordable highlighter. This is by Wet n Wild. I know it's been out for a while, um, but I literally only just got my hands on it maybe a couple of months ago, two, three months ago. It's a Wet n Wild highlighting powder in Precious Pearls. By the way, that's where I've been using it, like that little um, corner dent area. Just pretty. So it's a really nice affordable highlighter. It's kind of, I would say it's like a champagne-y gold. Like it's not fully gold, but it's got champagne. And then maybe I'll do like a little, I'll add some on so you guys can see. That's what it looks like. And I really like it. It's a nice highlighter for someone of a similar complexion to me because it's not too pink. It's not too gold. And you just look really glowy. Radiant. Luminous. I've stopped highlighting the tip of my nose just because I don't want to draw attention to it, but there seems to be always like some sort of glow happening there on its own. I've been loving this, quite affordable. I don't remember how much it was. Maybe if I were to guess, um, $12 to guess. If you're ever in store, check it out. A lot of people, when I when on my Instagram, I always show you guys things I'm thinking about buying when I'm at the mall because I'm like, have you guys tried it? Um, quite a few people have said that this is their favorite too, so get on it. It's amazing. Next up. Brow products. Even though I'm in a battle with my brows right now, I just don't like this one I'm unhappy with. My brow product I've been using, and you know it's loved when you've lost the lid and it's kind of like broken and you just... It's the Colourpop Brow Pencil in... I think I got dark brown. No, black and brown. Before I used to have Jet Set Black and it used to be too dark even though my eyebrows are black. So this is a lot better and it's more... Um, it's less harsh for like an everyday. It's really like an ashy brown. Um, it works really well for my eyebrows. I would definitely recommend. Uh, how much was this? Maybe like 6 US? I'm not sure, but I like it. I like it. I filmed like a quick little Instagram video of me doing my brows. So maybe I'll upload that soon. And you guys, if you want to have a look, if you want to check out my Instagram page. I'll put my social links on in my description box so you guys can check it out if you want to. Because I did film using this one and the um, brow boss gel. And also I think the other... Brow Pencil by Colourpop. I forgot what it's called. I've lost half the lids, you guys. This one was the Brow Boss, but I personally prefer the Brow Pencil over the Brow Boss just because the Brow Boss is like a bit thicker and it's just, I don't know, I find this one a lot easier to use. Anyway, so moving on. Mascara. I don't usually try new mascaras. I just get like affordable ones just because you can only keep them for a couple of months and I'm not really bothered. As long as it's waterproof, as long as it makes my eyelashes look long and defined and big. So this is the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic and waterproof. That's what it looks like. I guess it's fairly new by L'Oreal. That's what the brush looks like. Wearing this today, just on my lashes, obviously, there's no um, fake lashes, and I actually quite like it. I don't think a lot of people know about this because I keep telling people, but if you have really straight lashes, like me, I know it's hard to tell that I have straight lashes, but my lashes are so straight, they have no curl, and they point down because I inherited them from my mum. Key to that is curl them, get a good eyelash curler. This one's by Kevin Aquan. You don't have to spend that much money on an eyelash curler. There's a lot of affordable ones out there, but this was a recommendation. Um, curl it and use a waterproof mascara. And then literally, that's how my eyelashes always look like they're up. Anyway, so faves. I keep getting asked about my nude lip colors. By the way, this one that I'm wearing right now is... Oh, it's a mix. It is a mix, girlfriend. I use MAC World Lip Liner to line the outside and it was a little bit... No, it wasn't dark enough, but so I started off with that. I used the NYX Lip Lingerie in Lace Detail. And then I wanted to darken up the edges a little bit, so then I went in with the MAC Nightingale Lip Liner. It's like a bit purpley, so I just kind of got the edges a little bit and blended it in. That's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I always do that in the, in the beginning, but I forgot, so hold. But my go-to lip color is either MAC Soul Lip Liner with 
Huda Beauty's Liquid Matte in Venus. Like, I love these nudes. I can't, I literally create the same color all the time and you guys ask me what I'm wearing. So that's the lip color in Venus. Or if I don't have my sole lip liner, I use the, <laughs> the Essence lip liner in Soft Berry. I need to get more of this and it's quite a like, it's quite a stiff lip liner. Don't expect this to be creamy, but it's good because it's stiff because you can line your lips and it's not gonna, it's not gonna like move over the edges. Like it's not gonna bleed and get, um, like sloppy looking if you know what I mean. I prefer my lip liners to be a bit stiffer. And I think that's why I like the MAC one so well, like so much. I'm pretty sure this might have only been $2. Like it was super affordable, like even for New Zealand. I have been trying out the lip, the NYX lip lingeries. I've already filmed one swatch video for you like already and it's up and it's doing really well and you guys asked for me to film another one. So right after this video, I'm gonna film another lip swatch video of the lip lingeries. I went and bought like another six after doing my first video. Um, I haven't tried the new six that I bought, but if you guys wanna see the video, I'll put it maybe here <laughs> or at the end of the video, at the end of this video. But there was one that I was wearing, I forgot what it was called, is it called Corset? I was just wearing it yesterday. Bedtime Flirt, Cabaret Show. I quite like Cabaret Show. And I think it was corset. What did I do with it? The reason why I like these is because there's such a big variety of like nudes. Like honestly, look at all look at all these nudes. Look at them. So many nudes. If you guys want an affordable liquid lipstick, then check out the next lip lingeries. So I was blown away by how many nudes there are. There's bedtime flow. Oh, here we go. Corset. Yeah, I was wearing that on top of um so Max or lip liner. Let's swatch some. So this is corset. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not. A f I'm still getting to getting used to the um, applicator because it's quite flat and it's stiff. I think it's gonna take me a minute to get used to it. Cause and this is cabaret show. So if you love mauvey tones, you'd like that too. Cause I love it. So that's the next lip lingeries that I've been loving. Now, this was everything mentioned before. I purchased by myself. This that I'm about to show you guys was gifted to me by Daniel Wellington. They have launched their new bracelet. It's a rose gold and white bracelet. It's gonna fall out, but look how cute. It's like, it's a bracelet, but I would say it's kind of like, it reminds me of like a little cuff. It's super dainty. It's called the Classic Bracelet. And it's rose gold and white. And I don't know if you can tell, but it says Daniel Wellington in the middle. Very cute and dainty. Oh, do I have makeup on my finger? Hold on. Got Daniel Wellington written etched onto the middle of the rose gold band. So it's available in stainless steel and rose gold. It's very tiny, but I kind of bent mine a little bit just to make it fit. Because I have the tiniest wrists. So... I don't know if I mentioned, but I love Daniel Wellington. Like I've bought their, I've bought a watch and a strap from them before, like three years ago. I want to say three years ago. That's this one. So they sent me this bracelet, but like I said, I have purchased from them before, and I've got this Daniel Wellington watch. It's like a matte rose gold face. I like it. It goes with a lot of things. It's quite cute and dainty, and matches with a lot of my other rose gold like <laughs> accessories, like my purse. My jewelry I wear, I change between rose gold and gold. I'm always drawn like to rose gold. Like even my ring is rose gold. So love, love, love. It was gifted to me, but this video is not sponsored. They did offer me a discount code if you guys wanted to use it. Um, I'll pop it here, but I think it's just my name is Zahira. Get 15% off. This code is not... Um, I don't get any commission off this code. It's not an affiliate code. Yeah, so if you guys wanted to use a code, then feel free. If not, that's all good too. But yeah, loving this. And you'll see it in a lot of my um, posts and stories because I really like it. And it's, re it's, it's hard for me to find a bracelet that fits my teeny tiny wrist. Like, look at this. Look how teeny tiny it is. Like, I can wrap my whole hand, like my thumb and my pinky around my wrist and I still have space so you know um yeah definitely love this so it's a cute gift idea if you want to treat yourself then 
Yo, do it, girlfriend. Another favorite. Now, I did a campaign with Estee Lauder a few weeks ago, and I got to try out Double Wear. So if you guys want to see the little Instagram video that I did, um, I will link my social media in the description box so you guys can check it out. But I was I trialed it out for a few weeks, and I don't know where I, why I've been sleeping on this foundation and why I haven't really properly tried it. But my shade is the shade... Cashew 3W2 and it's a foundation that I'm wearing today and I am in love. Like my way of applying it is just like a sheer, not a sheer, like a thin layer with a flat brush because this was a recommendation from the makeup artist when I went over to get shade matched at the Estee Lauder counter. And I just do like a light layer and when it comes to adding like a bit, when I'm, if I, like it's medium to full coverage, I think it's 24 hour wear, transfer resistant, waterproof, water resistant. Honestly, like, it's insane. So I just kind of do like a light layer and wherever I have any blemishes or discoloration, I just add a little bit more on top. It is amazing. Like, it is such a beautiful foundation. And like I said, I'm wearing it today. It wears well. It's the perfect match for me. Like, I am in the shade Cashew. So, yes. Definitely check it out if you want to. Um, This is not sponsored. They don't know that I'm mentioning it, mentioning it in my favorites. But I tried it for a few weeks and I'm actually in love. Um, and a lot of people love double wear and what they've also done now is they've launched a lot more shades and so now there's over 55 shades available so if you couldn't find your color before try again now and you might be able to find your color they do um, free seven day samples if you pop into the counter and get shade match so yeah check it out another two things that are part of my sleep routine okay so my, my nighttime routine one, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous favorites video, but I'm really trying to take care of my nails because if you know, for the past few months I had like some nail disasters and I just, I'm still on a journey to fixing my nails. So I have cuticle oil by my bedside. It's the Therapy Range Cuticle Oil and this has, oh, it's the Aromatherapy Company Therapy Range Cuticle Oil. This has vitamin E, jojoba and evening primrose oil. So I just kind of grab this and I apply it before bed. And just like around my cuticles and I rub it in. My nail tech, my new amazing nail tech, Bonnie, from Index Studios has told me that you should do it before bed because then you're not washing your hands and you're like still asleep for eight hours. So that's what I do before bed. Lastly, last favorite, I am still trying to fix my sleeping habits. So it's hard for me to switch off at night and go to sleep due to like all of the things happening in here and things I need to do. So I went and grabbed some, I oh, actually saw sleep drops at the pharmacy or at Countdown, the supermarket. This is like an all natural, what do I call this? It's all natural and it's got like a bunch of different things. It's a blend of herbs, homeopathics and flower essences. So I've been having this, I think it's like 5 to 10 drops before bed to just kind of like start winding down and you do it I think 2 hours before you're about to get into bed and then like an hour before or I usually do it like an hour before and then I'll do like another one maybe 30 minutes before bed. Um, and I just get into bed and I try to make myself just like think about nothing and just be chill, be in a calm state, don't think about things I need to do. So yeah, this has been really helping me um, and I don't know if it's a placebo effect, I don't care what it is. It's helping me sleep so I'm happy. Um, yeah, that's the finished video. Those are the things I've been loving lately. You guys love seeing favorites videos every month because I feel like I struggle to film them because... I'm just like, what have I been, what are the new products I've been trying this month? Like, it takes me maybe like two months to really figure out if I love a product or to try new products. I don't always switch things out. Like, often when I find something that's amazing, I stick to it and I chuck it in my, if it's makeup, I chuck it in my um, little gym makeup bag or it's things I carry with me in my bag or if it's th just like part of my routine so that's when I know I really love something it's kind of hard to change that up or realize I'm trying new products every month but if you guys want to let me know if you prefer monthly favorites bi-monthly favorites bi-monthly is every two months seasonal favorites let me know and let me know what you guys have been loving lately because I love um, trying out new products and recommendations from you guys because honestly like the things that you guys recommend to me um, it's like, I realized that you guys know me quite well after I, well, it depends on how long you've been following me on YouTube, but I've been here for the past three years and I always get such amazing recommendations from you guys um, of shades that you think would suit me because we're a similar skin tone or products that you think I would like. Um, yeah, so if you want to share something, if you want to share your favorite products, leave them down in the comments. And that's about it. If you guys have any other requests, let me know. 
and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Oh god. My ears are out. I'm wearing earrings I can only wear for a few hours. <laughs> Where's the thing? I mean, the should shide, shide, the side help. The side should be.